On today's Twogo Life, tacos al pastor. Welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. I'm your host, Captain Ron, and this week we are traveling down south to Mexico to make some tacos al pastor. Woo! If you don't know what that is, it's a blend of peppers and all kinds of different flavors, all combined. Now, al pastor translates to shepherd style. It dates back to not Latin times or Mexican times, but to Lebanese cooking when the shepherds would cook on an upright spit. Well, today we're gonna use our trompo king. We're gonna stack a bunch of pork shoulder on here that's been marinated overnight and we're gonna cook it on the big green egg. It's gonna be fantastic. Let's get started. This recipe requires a lot of ingredients. So let's take a look and see exactly what we're working with. Eight garlic cloves peeled, one half cup powdered ancho chili, a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper, one third teaspoon cumin, one teaspoon dried oregano, again, preferably Mexican if you can find it, three tablespoons of vinegar. We're gonna use about an ounce and a half of achiote paste, one quarter of a cup of vegetable oil, and about one and a half pounds of thin sliced pork shoulder. You want it sliced about a quarter of an inch. Now don't let this long list of ingredients really get to you. It's really simple. I know it seems like a lot. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of it, put it in a blender, and simply make a marinade. That's it, it's real simple. Now that we're all blended, this part of our process is done. So we're going to move this to the side, move this to the side. Now, let's talk about meat. For this recipe, what we're going to use is we're going to use pork shoulder. It's basically pork butt, but we're going to have it, I had it sliced up into about quarter inch um, slices. So I went to my butcher, he sliced it. Unfortunately, they only had bone in, so it kind of got massacred because I already took all the bones out of it here and I trimmed off some of the fat. But I want to show you here what we need to do. So we want to get it to a quarter inch. This is too thick, all right? See how thick this is? It's still too thick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our meat mallet, we're gonna pound it down. It's gonna do a couple things. It's gonna make it thinner, and it's also gonna tenderize it a little more. So we're gonna have an even better bite at the end. If you don't have a meat mallet like this, you can always use like the bottom of a pan. Our meat is pounded, and it's all ready to be marinated. So all we do now, take our marinade that we made and just pour it over. And cover it, give it the old Casey and the Sunshine Band, shake, shake, shake your booty to the fridge. Now, before we can get to cooking, we have to light it up, right? So let's do that. I'm gonna use some of our Fogo starters here. And any of you have seen these before, but I don't really explain too much what it is sometimes. This is called the Blazer Ball. What you do is you put your starters inside of it, okay? You close it up as such, all right? And just throw it in the, in the egg. The other part of lighting the charcoal I like to use, I like to use this grill torch. Right here, easy, simple, and always lights. And since today we're gonna to be cooking indirect here, we're gonna put our convector in here in the expander system. And again, as I always tell you, we're gonna let this heat up with the egg. Through the miracle of modern editing and everything like that, because I love you all so much, I spent all night last night pre-preparing a whole bunch of this meat. So I have a bunch ready to go. We don't have to wait for that stuff we just put in the refrigerator to be ready. This is what it looks like after marinating for about 15 hours. Look at that. Que bueno. We saw all the beautiful meat. Now we're gonna get this Trompo King started. We're gonna start off with a pineapple base and top. So if you're not aware of what this is, this is called a Trompo King. And have you ever been into like a Greek store and you see the gyro meat cooking or gyro meat? How do you say it? Tell me below. Anyway, you ever see that meat cooking on that spit that spins like this? Well, that's basically what we're doing here with the grill. The way that an egg works is that the heat comes from all around like this. So as this cooks, the heat is gonna come just like this and it's gonna work the same way that it does on a gyro. So all we do now is just stack our meat, okay? Put it like that and just go one after the other and try and kind of make it so that they're not all in the same direction. So you're gonna stack them, go sideways with them and change, change the direction of them a little bit, piece by piece, as a big one. All right, the king of tacos deserves a crown. So we just put our pineapple crown on top here as such. And we are good to go. Ah, the best laid plans of mice and men. You probably heard that. So when I planned this out, I hadn't really accounted for the height of how tall this thing is going to be. So I put the expander in. Well, kind of thinking about it again, I'm going to take the expander out. Just put the convector in. It's going to put the grate on there. It's going to lower it by about four or five inches.
So while our meat's cooking, let's do a little recap of what we've done so far. We made that beautiful marinade that when you make this, and I suggest you make it, when you smell that marinade, you're gonna wanna drink it. Don't drink it, all right? Marinate, you're eating it. So we marinated it overnight. We stacked it on the Trompo King. We used a pineapple base. We used a pineapple crown. Did it fit perfectly? No, we made it work and it looks really cool. Camera's very important to us. So we did that. We're cooking it at 350 degrees, all right? We're gonna take it to about 150 uh, internal temperature. Pork is done at 145. We're gonna go a little bit over that. We wanna make sure it's done all the way through perfectly. But what's nice is it's gonna form all these nice crispy edges on the outside. It's gonna make the perfect taco, or should I say, perfecto. El taco perfecto. Traditional al pastor tacos are served with nothing more than white onion, a little cilantro, and some lime juice, and it's fantastic. I'm gonna show you something that I've kind of done that I like on my tacos, and the flavors really, really accentuate the flavors from the al pastor. It's a pineapple pico de gallo. And just like that, we have a beautiful pineapple pico de gallo. Now, I didn't put anything red in here. Normally I like to have something red to make it really pop, but the meat from the El Pastor is gonna have plenty of red in there already. So this will be just fine, just the way it is. That time has come, folks, we are there. So the inside is not fully, fully done, but the outside is definitely done. So what we're gonna do, ooh, look at that. We're gonna take this baby off of here. Get ready for it, here it comes. Look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? How cool is that? I don't know about you, but I think it's time we cut into this baby and see what we've got here. See all the layers coming off there? Look at how beautiful that one. Look at how meaty and juicy that is. Just absolutely pork fection. Now that, folks, is Tacos Al Pastor on a Trompo King on a big green egg. Man, that's a beautiful thing. There's a couple things you can do here now. You can take this meat and heat up a pan, and you can even get a little further crisp on it. That doesn't hurt. As a little char. You know that, that extra char always brings out some extra flavor. So we got them both ways. We got traditional style, and we got it with my pineapple salsa. So I'm going to take a bite of both because that's how I roll. Let's see how they are. First, let's start with this traditional. It's just onion, cilantro, and lime. Oh my God, oh my God. Dios mio! Mm. Oh man, that's a good taco. <laughs> but let me try it with my little touch on it with the pineapple salsa and see how that goes. See which one I like better. Mm. That's the one. Mm. Dios mio, that is delicious, oh my God. You know, they're both phenomenal. I mean, they're both really good. You, you're going to be happy with this Al Pastor. Um, the, the traditional one, tons of flavor, really good. But that pineapple, that pineapple pico de gallo mixed with the flavors of the Al Pastor, man, that really brings it together. For me, that's my favorite one, actually by a pretty good amount. So you want to try it out, try it with that pineapple pico de gallo. Do it any which way you'd like. That's the beautiful part about it. It's easy, it goes together real well, and it cooks up so beautifully on this Trompo King. This thing really worked exactly how it's supposed to work. Now, if you want to, you could trim this as you're cooking it. Just trim the outsides and keep letting the layers get that little char on the outside. That's a great way to do it too. So it's up to you. The Trompo King is really versatile. There's a lot you can do with it. So that's about it for this week. This was delicioso. That's Spanish for delicious. <laughs> and I hope that you remember to get out and grill. And I will see you the next time on The Fogo Life.